Welcome back to another episode. Today we're talking about what? My name is Missy. Oh, my name is Reddy. And today we're talking about what is there? What? How do I always? I always get tongue twisted when I'm trying to say this. All right, just say it. What would you? I can't even say the right word. What is there? What? What do you wish you would have known sooner? There we go. What, what do you is wish? It? That you would have known sooner. Yeah, that one. Yes. Yes. I don't know why I can't say it right. Dang. Get it together, please. I can't say it right. Get it together, Missy. Why do you... Okay. What do you wish what you would have known want? sooner? Yeah, what is there? What is the thing that you wish you The thing you that I wish sooner. sooner is that Bitcoin was going to be as worthy <laughs> as it is today because I would be a rich man. That's what I wish in Dogecoin and all that. That's what I wish I would have done. I wish I would have invested when I thought about it back in 2000 and what, like 13 or something? Yeah. Yeah. Probably a little sooner than yeah, that. Yeah, probably sooner, like 2011. Yeah. Something. Yeah. I knew about it too. I was familiar and everything. <laughs> I just didn't pull the trigger, man. I wish I would have knew that sooner. Well, you can help somebody out today. I'm telling you, know? you man. Now everybody investing in it. <laughs> everybody know about it. Yeah, then you should have just. I should have just did. I told you about it. I did not not tell you about it when I did. I did, but I just didn't go through with I'm it. I'm pretty sure you and a whole bunch of others. I'm probably. pretty sure yeah. a lot of us, you know. But you can't you can't predict the stock market. And this is not even like typical stock market stuff. This is cryptocurrencies. Well then. That's interesting. Very. Yeah. It's well, is true, there too. anything else you wish you would have known sooner? Hmm, I wish that Oh, you gotta think about like, everything else, huh? Yeah, that one was, you, that, you, that was the first <laughs> one that came to my head. I wish that I've known uh, about, I don't know. It's just all money stuff for me. It's uh-huh. all money stuff for me. Like putting away money, more money back in the day. Like so how to be, for, is the only to thing. be, um, invest. What? I just want to invest because I invest a lot now, but. Okay. So you, you wish you would know how to invest. I, well, I knew of investing, but I never really invested. I wish that I would have known more about it and took the initiative to actually learn more about it and do it sooner. Got it. Yeah, got in earlier. Got it. Yeah. What about you? You just all right here no, trying to get me I'm to thinking. incriminate myself. I'm what thinking. about you? No, I'm thinking. Hmm? I'm thinking. So there's nothing that you wish you You're just perfect. You're just a perfect being. No, huh? I wish I would have known... Probably, I don't know. I, like, I wish I would have known. She, she's just perfect. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all right now. She's just perfect. I'm not. I'm really trying to think. Like, if anything, how to be. I don't know. See, I don't even know how to put it. Because I don't even know how to say what I, I, I don't know. Help me out here. I, 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 you got to give me more to go off of to help <laughs> you. You got to give me way more to go off of. Uh, I wish I would have known how this? to probably, you know, dive into things as well. Like, I I, I wish I would have known just to take the leap in certain things. Probably. Okay, okay. You know, instead of being so, like. Cautious. Yeah, so cautious. Mm-hmm. Still cautious, by the way. Don't so you wish that, that you was more risk taking. Yeah. Like you was you jumped into it and yes. not thought about it so much. Exactly. Like I could have saved a lot of time, you know, if doing I doing what you're doing now, huh? <laughs> just going for it. Yeah, like, I could have saved a lot of time. You still go through it cautiously, yeah. but then you go through it like you know, you know? like not not yeah. so. She never she didn't do anything before. Yeah. So she I wish I would have just been everything. more like you know, free and more free spirited and more like. Not such a, uh, what you call me, a pessimist. You are a pessimist. About everything because then it slows you down. She is. So if I would have been just a little bit more. Optimistic. Optimistic. Instead yeah. of pessimist. Yeah, I, w- I would have had a lot done. You would have had a lot done. You know? You would. I really would. You really would. Like, I'm, I'm serious. So, but due to that, you know. Mm. So if I would have known sooner that. Everything wasn't gonna, you know, cave in, and everything wouldn't just. You yeah, know. you you used to, uh, um, man, you didn't do anything. Like you didn't. Yeah. Like you was like, cautious. I about moved. Everything. Like I tiptoed around and on every single thing. And never really went for it. And never. Yeah. Yeah. So if I would have known 
the push that I like literally have because I've always had to push. Okay. Just never had to, you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Never had to run, you know. Always got to push, but mm. didn't never ran. So yeah, I would have mm. probably, you know, started way sooner mm. with the things that I already know, you know, because you already know it. And you know that it it can have success, or you know that it can have purpose, or you know it can have some foundation. Right. But then you don't know facts, you know. So it's like you're you're afraid of the you're afraid of the I don't know what you're is. afraid of failure. You're a fail, like the way that you used to do it. You didn't want to do it because you you didn't know the outcome. Yes. So afraid yeah. of what the outcome may yeah. be, you know. Not really knowing what the outcome was gonna be. Right. Yeah. So you, you know, just tiptoed around and you never actually really went for things because you. Yeah. You was always so but, iffy about it. You didn't know what was gonna happen. Yeah, but if I would have known that nobody knows. I know you nobody just go knows. For it. But if I would have known that you just kind of go for it and do the best that you could. Have you watched at a time, before, bro? No risk, no reward. Like, yeah, bro, like no risk, no reward. I would have saved a lot of time. Most you definitely. Know. But I'm glad that I did do that, too, because now, you know, when now I know. do do it, I do know and I go about it way better than I probably would have went about it before. Yeah, being too risky is never a good thing. Yeah, I, I know that now. Well, I wish that I would have known. Well, not really wish. Everything's a learning experience for me, to be honest with you. Yeah. But um, if I would have known that people are who they are despite of who you want them to be earlier, because I always believe that, you know, People just didn't have the information, you know. People just didn't have the information and stuff like that. And once you gave them the information, they will be able to do great things with it. But even if you give somebody the information, they're still going to do what they want despite of that information. Because that's yes. just not what they care about. That's not what they're interested in. Exactly. And also, not even just that, mm. you know, it's the comfort zone. People fall into their comfort mm. zones. Preferences, I would say. I would say comfort zone. Comfort zone. People do stuff off of preferences and comfort. Their comfort with their preferences. They their comfort zone is their preference. Yeah, but sometimes, yeah, because all they know sometimes. Yeah, you know, so changing it, it's just like technology. Like you know, uh, I mean, my dad say J O B and and oh yeah, off, yeah, you know, yeah. and and don't play the games and stuff. Yeah, and now that's making people uh, living. Yep, or, my, you know. my father used to tell me the same thing. He used to tell yeah. me, like, you know, get off that uh, idiot box. You yeah. know, uh, uh, go get a job. But people is literally playing video games as their job. Exactly. You like, know. bro, imagine if I would have honed my skills as a kid, <laughs> father. See what you done. See what he done to me. <laughs> ah, nah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. You know, so, I mean, we in a different era it's right different now. Era. But, but, yeah, so let's see. What else would I, if I would have knew? If I would have knew that, you know, relationships wasn't all what it looked like on TV. Oh, she's coming. She's coming today. Okay. <laughs> no. You, I would have thought you would have known knew this. No, but if I would have known that it really takes two, like it's not even just a song. It really does take two to be in a very peaceful relationship and not only with your significant other uh -huh. with others too just people, people in general, general. People like in general. you know if i would have known that earlier uh -huh. then you know i'm i was aware of it yeah what would have changed for you i probably just would have been more <laughs> i probably would just be more i don't even know like you know it takes two for sure it does in every relationship that you have. Yeah. You know, that's one person can't just 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 go wholeheartedly in a relationship because then the, the person that is doing that is going to get burned out. Exactly. The other person is going to take advantage of that. Not even knowing that they're doing that. Exactly. Yeah. Then, you know, like, they just you comfort know? It. That's their comfort. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or preference. Which one? Both. Exactly. Their preference and comfort. Well, so it, I, I guess that know. would be their comfort because of, they don't even know they're doing it. Yeah. I mean, if I would have known that, though, I think I I could have saved a lot of stress, probably. Right. Like, you know, because you not even known if I would have not even if I would have known, you know, that. But expectation. Yes. Yes. That's a, like that's a big I would have known that having such a high expectation. Yes. I agree now. On people 
can cause so much weight. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of weight. Yeah, you expect for you. somebody to do something or or be something for you and stuff like that. That's your expectation, and then you get yeah. upset because that person don't uphold that expectation that you have. Pull your hair out. Yeah, you know? yeah, for sure. Yeah. So if I would have known that, that, right, if and probably many of us mm-hmm. still learning that, but sure. the expectations. That you have on yes, people, the, you know. Yeah, the preferences that you put on other people are the expectation that you think that this person should do yes. or have. It's yeah, like it was. It I, I probably would have, like again, saved probably a lot more time. For sure, um, that one is for sure. <laughs> saved a lot more time. That 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 holds not strong now. To figure out yeah, the, why this person's not doing what I want them to do. Like <laughs> yeah, that holds strong right now. Yeah, because uh, um, yeah, back then. That makes people upset. You know, you get upset when this person is not, oh, this person should take me on dates and this person should do this. And yeah. then they're not doing it. It makes yeah. you upset because you expect for them to do it. You have this expectation that yes. this should be getting done. And then it bothers you when it's not. Yeah. And then you focus on that when you sh- when there's so much more you can focus on. Yeah. Like, l- focus literally. on what is happening. What, what is, is going on. you know, growth. Yeah. You know, we focus on the expectation of being treated like, how we want to be treated, yeah, you and know, it's, it's just upsetting. Yeah, nobody's gonna really uphold your expectations one hundred percent, anyways. They're not. Yeah, they're they. I don't even. They can't. Yeah, you know, even if they try, they probably kill themselves. Trying. The expectation <laughs> that you have, just think about it like this: like you know, you're unique to yourself. You know what I mean? So those expectations and stuff that the things that you do, like you know, thinking that what you do is gonna reflect on what somebody else do for you is most definitely a bad expectation. It is. Have. Yeah, because, you know, you're like, I do this, I give so much, and this person doesn't give as much. Yeah. But then again, he could be or she could be thinking that she is giving or he is giving so much in a different department. Yep. But and you're not seeing that as the relevance. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, sport story of our life, huh? <laughs> like, that's most No, true. but that's with not even just, like, couples. It's, like, with... Everybody. Relatives, oh, for you sure. know, it's with friends. Yeah, if you think grandma should pick up your kid from daycare yeah, and then they you don't, know? you're upset about it. But mm-hmm. if you don't have the expectation, it's not yeah, going to bother because, you. Because, you know, life happens, you know, and everybody can't meet those expectations. For sure, for and, sure. But even though when you figure out everybody can't meet those expectations, you still have to figure out how to drop those expectations of people, yeah. you know, uh, in general. It's some maturity and, to actually have that type of mindset, for sure. Yes, yeah, like, it don't just come overnight. You ha- you have to actually feel it. Yeah, you gotta actually feel it. You got you drop the expectations. You know you do. You don't get upset about something not being done no more. You yeah. don't get upset about Revengeful. it not being full. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't bother you at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, you know, that's so, how you know you drop them expectations. So if I would have known that, you know, you know, I would. Uh, that would have been yeah sooner. I would have saved a lot of time. You know, even like as far as. Uh, communication okay like you know knowing how to communicate properly Mm -hmm. saves a lot of time it saves a lot of time you know like knowing how to communicate with others yourself yeah like you know it's like nobody ever teaches you those things you gotta kind of learn by yourself those things you sure do and then the reason why you do even if somebody did try to teach you you communicate with different people on different levels you know what i mean so, you know, if somebody did teach you, they would only teach you at their level and their capacity. Yeah. You got to learn everybody at their own capacity and their own level. Yeah. And you, you know still I mean? got to go through it. You st- show got to go I through mean, it. I mean, but even though you have to go through it, though, I'd rather go through it knowing that, okay, possibility that this is going to turn out this way or this way than just expecting for it to turn out the way, you know? Yeah, that's upsetting. Like, that's one thing that's like, like, throw your hands up, whoop do doo Like, nobody ever told me this. Right. You know, nobody ever thought to tell me this. Like, you know, and that's another reason why the, like, on topic but off topic. Okay. The internet is something lucrative, you know, because okay. when you're in a box, like, not no shade. Okay, disclaimer. Yes. But, you know, before generations okay. were kept in a box. Yeah, you know, uh-huh. tradition. tradition. Yeah, for sure. You know, and then the internet breaks that. Yeah. You know, it allows tradition to be You broken. can see so many other views of yes, life and so on. Exactly. And you, you know. It's not just that way, nah. you know. But when you don't have that and you're just raised in this particular way, 
that's all you think, you know, and I think the expectation either even is worse. The communication yeah. is even worse because you're only taught to communicate that this way, way yeah. you know. And then you go out in the world and know that that doesn't work for everybody. Exactly. It only works for. And then for, you expect that it works for everyone. It. Yeah. And, and then when then it don't, you get upset. You get upset. For you sure. know, it's all it's a big <laughs> big problem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that like that's something that if I wouldn't, I'm glad that I learned it now though because I still got time. Yeah, you still got time. You're a young person. I got time. You got time today. I got time today. Because today I got time. (laughs) You know. But unfortunately, some people don't got time or didn't have the time. You know? Still don't have the time. It still don't have the time. And that's that's unfortunate. It is unfortunate. You know? It takes (laughs) takes a lot of growth. You know what I mean? It takes a lot of growth. You got to go through a lot of hardship to actually figure out that type of thing. It's not just a simple transition for sure. Yeah. But not even, not a lot of hardship. It is. It is a lot of hardship, but I'm just saying, like, depends on who the person is. Hmm. Because I think that... Have you ever had that transition with somebody that uh, was simple and uh, straight to the point? Everybody that I try to speak to about something like that, that feel wholeheartedly about something, you know, it's hard to actually let them know that you feel... You you, uh, oppose that that, that thought that they're having, or that, um, that way that they feel. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, it's... It, it's not simple. It's, I never, I never met a person that was simple with as of yet. The level of hardship that you have to go through is different for everybody. Yeah, for sure. You yeah, know? some people are more passive. Like you can get, you can get slapped on the hand one time and mm-hmm. kind of be like, not doing that no more, mm-hmm. you know. But then it takes those people that gotta get black eyes and everything just to be like, wait, what happened? I think it's because <laughs> of those people um, probably really, really <clears throat> believe what their feeling is more valid than what the other person is feeling. So it's harder for them to actually get it, to let those expectations go. Yeah. That's what I think, at least. Because yeah, belief is strong. Super. But sometimes you do have to just open your mind. And, and I still go even, through problems like that. Yeah, you're going to go through issues yep. for sure. But at the end of the day, an open mind may just let you go through a little smoother. No, I go through that. I have an open mind. Well, I'm getting my mind opened with a lot of people or whatever like that. But um, certain people I talk to, like, they won't let go of their expectations of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like my mother, for example. Like, she has so many expectations. She ain't. She have My mom, no. If you watch your mama, I love you. But regardless <laughs> of the fact, she has so many expectations of how it was when I was a kid. But I'm a grown-up now, you know what I mean? And I'm not that same person. So she expects for me still to be this person, which I'm not. And it makes her upset when I, you know, when I show her my colors, like, oh, oh, why you not like this, son? You used to be so, did you used to always wear suits? And I'm like, yeah, I don't like suits on my mom's. And then she's like, oh, yeah, you know, you used to always like suits. Like, you expect for me to wear suits because I always wear suits. I don't want to no more, okay? <laughs> uh, you get it? It's like, let that expectation go. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, those expectations are due to tradition, too. Like, you know. That's what I'm once saying. A, once a person doesn't mean always that person. That's right. You know. You go through transitions, changes, you do. and growth. And, and you have to be open to go through that with that person. Like, you have to accept those things. You have to be willing to be like, he don't like tacos no more. She don't like tacos no more. Mm. I still like tacos. But you got to learn to say, well, he's past tacos, you yeah. know. But I still like tacos, but and he it, don't like tacos. I should be okay with you I'm eating okay. tacos, and yeah. I should be okay. You should be okay with me not eating. You not eating tacos. That's right, and we should still have a happy-go-lucky life. Exactly. You it, know? It, it sounds nice, but don't work that it way. It don't work that way, because when you want to bite of my taco, I'm going to be like, hey, bro, you said you're going to eat tacos. No, no that's just a way for you not to share. <laughs> don't be trying to make it sound like that. I'm just saying. You know, you don't eat tacos no more. What are you doing over here? Nah, bro. <laughs> I don't eat tacos in that form. I mean, I, I eat all that coño asada. I eat all that um, a pico de gallo. I just don't eat it in a taco form. Yeah, see? But you got to be able to accept that. And no, I really do eat tacos. I'm just like, you know, this is an example. I like tacos. <laughs> okay. You got to be able to drop the expectation you that, do. you know, because we're not clones of each other. Exactly. You know, nobody is a clone. Exactly. You should be happy so. that you're you're that person. And you're unique. You know what I mean? You have differences for a reason. You yeah. should be OK with that. So I'm glad I learned that early on. I'm glad that you taught me early on <laughs> because I sure didn't learn it by myself. It was a hard lesson. Um, it usually is. Yes, it was. You know, but, easy. you know, I mean, but if it wasn't for you, though, you what? know. What? 
If it wasn't for you, I what? wouldn't have been able to even see that way, you okay. know? But then you introduced it to me. So then I had to work on it. I had to see, like, wait, what's going on here? Wait, this guy don't do this when I ask him. Wait, this what? ain't this working crazy. out. This, gotta, is not, this is not what I've seen in the sitcoms yeah, I used to see? watch. And then you got to be like, okay, er, what happened here? Okay, now I have to adjust this. You got to drop them expectations. And then I got to help you know. You know, I got to help you. You got to help me. You know, you help me with the initial thing. Oh, so wait, I only help you with the beginning. <laughs> you help yourself. We help each other. Give my credit when credit is due because it's due now. Okay. Hey, yeah. You're welcome. That's right. It's only $2. Wait, you said you're welcome. You mean thank you. Uh, oh, you no. supposed to say thank you. I, no, you said, I said you're welcome. You said give me your credit when it's due. I said you're welcome. I didn't give it to you, though, until afterwards. I said to I'm confused now. Okay. But, yeah, so those are a few things that is a, ain't even a want. Those things are a necessity. You should learn those things <laughs> earlier, bro. If you can learn those things, you will be one step ahead of everybody else that do not know those things. Yeah. For but it sure. is a it's a process. It's not easy. It's hard. It's an everyday thing. It's a fight. It's, it's a struggle. And it's but it's beneficial it's though. It is. It's, if it's hell the ones, and hot water. It's beneficial though. It's all that. And it comes with a lot of maturity. But it's not bag of chips. It comes with a lot of maturity. <laughs> Again. It do come with maturity. It does. Come but you gotta have somebody in your life too to Yes. Be you know. willing in to actually go through those hardships with you in the yeah. first place. And be willing to actually stick it in, even though you don't get it. Yeah. Again. <coughs> Ooh, okay. <coughs> Dang, okay. Again. Somebody needs some water. <laughs> Again, though, this is not just for couples. This can work. Oh, this is, you heard me. In, I said it by my mom. Yeah. It works for all aspects. All of like aspects. Your friend, best friend, couple. Yes. Any bond uncle, that you dad, make. You sister. Make. You know, I think the hardest ones to to get across is the 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 relationship. Yeah, not really the bond that you create though, because you know we're born into oh yeah, yeah you yeah. know our families. So sometimes you have to figure it out together. You know, you can't just drop a brother and be like you're my brother. You know, if you ten and thirteen and fifteen in the same house, you got to learn how to work together. Yeah, that's like, that's you like know? forced upon you without your yeah. without your consent. Yeah. So but, that's why, you know. Or your mom, you yeah. know, dad. Like, you know, those things is a you little bit that. Yeah, more tougher than your best friend that you chose from elementary yeah, school. Yeah, usually you know? you're going to have things in common. Are you going to have things that you you vibe on, a certain yeah. level that you vibe together on? But, yeah, people that you was born to is kind of hard. Yeah, because, you know, you know, them expectations be there. You know, you my yep. sister. Yeah, you, you supposed know. to do this. <laughs> You, you my to. son. Yo. You my yep. uncle. Yep. You know, and it's well, just like. You get upset. You get yourself upset. Yeah. So. Yeah, I dropped those a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. I did. Well. They're gone. That's something dropped that, like you a know. hot potato. So, all y'all out there. Everybody. If y'all was trying to figure out, like, why am out. I getting upset? Because this person told me no about taking me to the mall. Because you, expect <laughs> dr- you expected them to take you to the mall and they didn't. It made you upset. It made you upset. Initially, you know, and you don't even have time to think about why you upset. You just get upset. You just get upset. It's just natural just instinct. Me no. Yep. Like what? Yeah. You didn't expect for him to tell you no. That's yeah. that's what happened. You know, it's just like a, a toddler. You know, the one in the cookie. You can't have that can't cookie. Have a cookie. He's upset now. Don't he expected for him to get that. He expected himself to get that cookie. Yeah. Like I could get this cookie. It's gonna be good. And he didn't get it. So he throwing tantrums because he expected it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. you know, it's that expectation. Mm-hmm. You know, it starts young. You know, like oh, yeah. it starts at probably like. Two months or something out it, the womb. They, you know, start, they, yeah, they expect to get breastfed immediately. Okay. Or a formula. <laughs> they expect that. So they're they upset do. when they ain't getting it. Or sleep. They expect it to be sleep right now. Yeah. They're so upset. they cranky. Yep. That's so, expectation. You got to drop that. Yeah. I think so. Is it safe to say we might be born with them? Right. Yeah. You born with expectation. Mom is <laughs> supposed to feed me. It's up. This diaper needs to be changed. Yeah. I need to get Pat to sleep. All yeah. that expectations. What, why would you get upset with about something if you didn't expect? If you, you get a spe- you, when you at work, you don't get that promotion, right? It makes you upset because you expected that you was going to get that promotion. Did you not? Mm-hmm. Like you get upset. Most people when they uh, 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 try to play the lottery, right, and then they don't win. Do the, you get upset when you don't win the lottery? But oh man, dang, I didn't win. But you don't get upset, right? You bought the ticket, but you didn't get upset. You know why? Because you didn't even <clears> expect <throat> yourself to win. Yeah, but you get extremely happy if you did win because you didn't expect yourself to win. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So the reason why is those <clears throat> expectations. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I 
think we kind of covered what we was trying to get to today. Yeah, I think we did that. You know? So, if y'all want to leave y'all comments and, and let us know what y'all, you know. Wish I knew earlier. Earlier. Yeah. You know, that y'all learned the hard way, the soft yeah. way, or, you know, just the way that y'all end up learning it or figuring it out, you know. Let us know. We want to know. You know. I want to so, know. Like, let us know what it is. Like, yeah, you know? let us know. Yeah. You know, because I'm, I'm interested in knowing. I'm pretty sure I, get, I got a bigger list, but right now, you know, I, I can't. We'll, we'll keep it minimum. Yeah. If you want a part two, get this up to like 5,000 likes. Or something. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how many likes. I don't care. We'll do a part two if y'all yeah. like it. Yeah. Based on y'all comments, we'll probably Yeah, part comments. Two. That's a good one. So, on that note, thanks for tuning in on our episode, and we look forward to seeing y'all, hearing y'all. Seeing y'all comments, y'all hearing us, whichever one, you know, in the next episode. And until next time, we are out. Deuces.